while you're kind of talking about this, it reminded me of, of a slide that we saw together when we were at uh, the Life and Air, the Get a Life Getaway Conference. And it, it's a slide, and I actually took a picture of it because it was meaningful to me. And I just found it, and it's, it's the slide about um, what people, have, the top five regrets that that uh, that the elderly have, like you know, when on when they're on their deathbed, and um, I'm sure there's different, you know, sure there's different ones of these, right? But but this one, like one of the top five regrets, is I wish I had have stayed in touch with my friends. I wish I hadn't worked so hard. I wish I'd had the courage to express my feelings. I wish that I had let myself be happier. Um, like, dude, that's pretty powerful. Right. I mean, it's we, super powerful, man. We like, we, we need that. We need that like sense of belonging. We need that, uh, that sense of, of purpose and, and community is where all that lies, where all that is. I mean, God made Adam and Eve and told him to go multiply and, and create more people so we could have a community. Right. Yeah. Well, um, and I think even before that multiply, God created Adam. Yeah. And it, it wasn't, it wasn't, an, it wasn't enough, right? He's like, I, I need to create Eve mm. because you need, you need somebody else. You need that other, I mean, it was from the, be, from the beginning, right? Yeah. It, it, it was already, Adam was, that was the part that was missing that, that community, that fellowship, that other person. And, and I say missing Adam had full access to God. Like who else would you want to hang out with? Yeah, right. God recognized, hey, I'm going to give you this other person. And, and I think, you know, it, it's, it's interesting that you, you say that because there are certain things that, you know, I think about when I'm not here anymore that, that are, are, I think about this often and, and uh, what do I want people to say? And what do I want my friends to feel? And if I died today, would my friends genuinely say, and this isn't the eulogy thing, like this is just something that, that, that pops in my head. Would, would they say, would they know and in their heart know that I love them and say that I was a good friend? Not, not a perfect friend. We, we argue, we disagree, but would they know by my efforts and my actions that I love them, that I prioritize them? And if the answer is no, and I don't think you're going to get that, if you really look at your Facebook friend list, you're not going to get that. You're not going to get that. There's yeah. no way outside of maybe you have a really tight friend that you have elsewhere and they're the ones commenting on your pictures and your things or whatever. But if they don't really know you and you're not communicating anywhere else besides online, I just don't believe that that someone's going to have that impact. And and then, you know, for my friend, my family. And my kids, it's the same thing. Like, will my kids have any regrets with our relationship? And if they do, it can't be on my side. It can't be because my daddy wasn't there, because my daddy worked too much, because my daddy, whatever. It, it'll, it'll have to be on their side. Well, because I did X, Y, Z, right? But my yeah. daddy was always there. Um, well, not always, but, you know, we, we tried his hardest. Yeah. Um, and... and and so I think there's, again, but it, but that boils down to intentionality for me now, picking up the phone. Like, I feel like that's, I feel like when someone pops in my heart, that's, that's the leading from God. I believe that. I believe that, that like some random person, like Doug Spence sent me a text today, just randomly reached out and said, Hey, you know, you're going back to Colorado for Thanksgiving. Like, we don't talk all the time. We don't talk a lot, but I was like, man, he's, this guy's thinking about me. He must have been thinking about me. He sent me a text. It's, it's nice. It was great. Yeah. And, and so, you know, there'll be times when people outside of your little circle, you pop in your mind. And if you give them a call, I'll tell you, it's rewarding. It's rewarding. There's a reason they popped in your mind. And, and I, I, I'll tell you another thing that's interesting. And I believe it's God is a number of times the people pop in my mind. They're like, man, it's crazy. You call because I'm going through this thing mm -hmm. and it's just tough. Yeah. And that happens that ha it's it's not even like novel to me anymore because it happens so much mm. right it's not even like oh that's i mean i i want it to be more like that was a miracle that was you know thank you god and yeah. i do feel that but it, but it so, happens so much that it's like i just trust it now 
You know what I mean? Yeah. 